Hey everybody, it's Medina from The Clarinet Life, and I wanted to give you some spring reading right here. Alright, let's get started. So I'm going to start with this first book, no particular order. Most of these books are like uh, self-help books, uh, a lot of them are probably career books. This first one is by uh, Gerald Klickstein. Um, this book talks about uh, like performance uh, aspects and it talks about career aspects. So for example, uh, you have things like practicing deeply and becoming a professional artist or performing artist and best practices as a performer and a professional. Um, it also has uh, sections on like injury prevention and sections as uh, being a student. So this is The Musician's Way by Joel Klickstein. I'm going to go to another one, a little bit different. This is uh, On Staff, and this is by Donald Heyman, or Hammond. And essentially, this is about starting your career as a professor. Um, some of the topics they have here is talking about um, like tenure, being a tenured professor, uh, duties and responsibilities, qualifications, uh, preparing for campus interviews, stuff like that. So that's I think that's pretty helpful. So it's on staff by Daniel Donald, excuse me, Hammond. Uh, another book. This is Making Music in uh, the Looking Glass. This is by Ellen Heinstein or Heinstein by the Concert Artist Guild. Um, this is one of the newer editions, and this goes is more performance oriented. Um, talks about things like the marketplace. It talks about uh, things like re recording. It talks about things like uh, marketing, networking, that sort of deal. I think it's a pretty helpful book. Uh, there's a section also for composers. So this is uh, something that I think you might be uh, interested in. This is the fourth edition. And this is uh, Making Music in Looking Glass Land by Ellen Hi, Steen. Okay. okay, a few more books for you. Um, this next book has, I think, three editions. I have the first edition. Uh, this is Beyond Talent by uh, Angela Beeching, right here. Uh, it says Creating a Successful Career in Music. So this is, uh, has some similarities to the other one. Uh, I do think both of them have similarities, but I definitely think it's worth uh, purchasing both. Especially if you're considering being a professional performer. Um, there are sections that are like mapping success, uh, things about networking, um, connecting with your audiences, stuff like that that I think is really important. And again, she has a third edition, I believe. So I think the cover is like kind of like a purple blue cover so definitely get the newest edition I think the newest edition also talks about technology uh, this is another book by uh, Twyla Tharp the creative habit learn it and use it for life a practical guide so uh, Twyla Tharp is a dancer and uh, she has a few books out I really like this book this book I actually uh, was hip to it by Carnegie Hall they have a uh, educators uh, workshop program and this was one of the books that they highlighted uh, this is, I guess, more, I would say more general, but it's one of those things where if you feel like you're wanting to find a new way to focus, a new way to, um, approach your art, or maybe, uh, non-art as well, um, it's really cool. So this is the table of contents right here, um, uh, says things like scratching and spine and scales. So these titles are not going to be um, things like skills as a performer or um, how to deal with uh, aspects of performance. It, it talks about stuff like that, but it's a different, it's more of a practical guide, like a general guide, but I think it's totally um, great for a performer. Um, she talks about things about uh, how to focus and what creativity means for all of us, not just artists. Um, 
and she gives examples. I really, this is a cool book. I totally think it's worth checking out. Um, it talks about, um, I'll read it since it says, the wrong structure creating is all about playing and innovating with familiar forms. It's natural to want to establish as many ground rules as possible about form before we get down to work, but you have to choose the form that's not only appropriate to you, but right for your particular idea. Like things like that I think are quite practical. Um, yeah, I would totally check out this book. So even though it doesn't uh, specifically say something like the performer's guide, it's a general guide and it's given by a very creative uh, woman who has been in the dance scene for a really long time. So um, even though I'm a musician, I'm not going to limit myself to just uh, music books. There's so many things that we can learn and garner from other performing artists and non-artists as well. All right, so I have another book. It's called The Savvy Musician and it's by David Cutler. So it's building a career, earning a living and making a difference. Okay, so that's this book right here. I don't think I've read this book entirely, but I've used it as like a reference. It's just kind of good ideas. All right, so it has things like entrepreneurial mindset, uh, minding your business, inventing products that succeed, stuff like that. Um, about skills, about recording. So this book has some similarities to the other two. It talks about grants here. So, um, you know, every book has its own slant, but um, I think that you would get something out of this. So this is uh, Savvy Musician by David Cutler. This other one that I have, it's a smaller one. It's more general. Um, it's, it's by uh, Austin Cleon or Cleon, I'm not pronouncing that right, probably. Uh, it says Still Like an Artist. So if you're someone who's very visual, I think you would enjoy this. Um, I don't know if there's a table of contents with this. Oh, well, there is. Okay, so things like you, um, the secret do good work and share it with people, geography is no longer our master, be nice things like that. Uh, so there's, there's kind of like cheeky titles, but um, there's like, if you're into even quotes um, and the pictures, this is kind of a nice uh, book about how to get your work out there. So, and this is Steal Like an Artist by Austin Kleon right here. And last but not least, um, I have one here. It's called uh, Becoming an Orchestral Musician. This is by Richard Davis. And if so, if you're interested in becoming an orchestral musician, this might be a, of interest to you. Um, I think this is based, this particular author is based in the United Kingdom. I think when I was kind of like gleaning through the book, some of the words and the, and the they were saying sounded very English or British. But I just still think that despite that, you can get something out of this book. So let's take a look at the table of contents. If I can find it. Ah, here we go. Formative years, performing philosophy. Um, talks about things like the audition process talks about things like uh, what you what you're supposed to do when you get into the ensemble so yeah uh, it also goes over performance aspects some scores right here like that one's about rubato this is the section on ensemble so yeah so this is uh, becoming an orchestral musician a guide for a Aspiring Professionals, Richard Davis. All right. Well, these are just some of the books that I have here in my library, and I thought you might like it. Okay. Well, I'm going to sign off here. Thanks for watching. And maybe you could put in the description box of what books you find useful for your performance career. All right. Thanks, guys. Bye.